Hello, Dr. Evangelos Milonas here at Kinetic Health. Today we'll be discussing the axillary nerve and specific exercises that we can do if there's compression, irritation, or an entrapment of that nerve in this area. The nerve itself originates in the neck at the C5-6 levels. It travels down the, the side and the back part of the shoulder here, and it supplies uh, muscles of the shoulder. It supplies the anterior, the front part of the deltoid, the side, the medial part of the deltoid, and the posterior, the back part of the deltoid. It also supplies one of the muscles of the rotator cuff, the teres minor. At the level of the teres minor, the nerve pierces through a small space here called the quadrangular space, and it actually, I'll have Emmy uh, lift her arm here and just kind of bring it overhead. It actually pierces high up in this area, which is the axilla, hence the axillary nerve, you know, basically the, the armpit area. It courses through this area, and uh, it travels further down. Clinically significant things um, are you know, pain in the shoulder, pain when you're, you're bringing the arm away from your body, which we call abduction, abduction. Um, there could be numbness, there could be tingling in this area, on the back part of the, of the shoulder blade, or also on the inner part, on the axillary region. Some common injuries or trauma to that area could be a, a shoulder dislocation, use, improper use of crutches when you're, you're not using your crutches properly and there's actually some pressure on the nerve causing some compression, which can cause tingling and pain in that area. So, a number of different um, uh, problems can arise from compression of that axillary nerve. And it's primarily focused in this area here. So, any injury to the shoulder, any motion involved with bringing that arm away from your body, any pain that may be in that area, is definitely an indication that, you know, you should do some exercises in that region and help free up the nerve if it is compressed. So, we're going to get into those exercises now. Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. I'm going to show you a exercise, actually a couple exercises today, so that we can floss the axillary nerve. As Evangelos was explaining to you how the nerve comes down, we're going to use motions of the body to basically stretch the nerve or glide the nerve through the tissue. If we're tensioning a nerve, it's pulling it from both ends. If we're flossing it or gliding it, we're taking off the tension at one end and getting it to move another, the other direction, either up or down. So we're going to start with two actions here. First, we're going to, the head basically will go into lateral flexion. Really simple. So this is the first part. Second part, which we're going to combine with this, is where we take the arm and we'll have it from here, depress the shoulder, and internally rotate the arm in. Okay, so that's just coming out, taking it down, and rotating it in. Now we're going to combine those two actions, where we have the head to the side, and we take it to the side, depress the shoulder, and rotate in. Okay, pretty simple, but really effective for taking stress off that and getting that nerve to glide through the tissue. Excellent. So we probably do this maybe five to ten times, and you can do this several times a day, maybe even four or five times a day. Okay, the second exercise we're going to show you is how to use both shoulders at the same time to floss the axillary nerve. Quite simple, really. This movement is from Tai Chi, where we take the shoulders, depress them, and we internally rotate our arms. So taking it up, and internally rotate it. So basically what we're doing here is we're getting the nerve to move through the axillary nerve and flossing it down in one direction. Now if we want to tension that, all we have to do is kind of move back to the first exercise, except we're going to take our arm, depress, and internally rotate, but at the same time we depress, we're going to laterally flex our head to the side like this. So we're taking a, mo a movement from Tai Chi and kind of combining it with a head action which is actually part of a uh, short form that we teach, and we'd actually introduce this so that we can floss the axillary nerve. Excellent.